There is this thing about right and wrong and perfection and imperfection. And more and more, it strikes me that those are just convenient handles that we put on things, they're labels, but we don't know what's right and what's wrong. We don't know what's good and what's bad. So often what feels good in one moment can actually be the seeds of a bad feeling in another moment. I know for myself, sometimes if things are feeling too good and I'm a little too happy, sometimes I might say something that hurts somebody else and I'm not aware of it. But later on, I found out that for, for that other person, it might have poisoned the moment. So what I thought was good was not really so good. It maybe was true that I was in that light space, but good and bad is very complicated. And I think we get really confused. And I, I think part of the problem, and I know I've been talking about this recently, but part of the problem is this image of perfection that we have. And I think, um, sorry, I'm getting noise from up here. <laughs> I think that oftentimes we, we're misguided in our sense of if we come to practice, and this really is what Stephen was talking about, then we'll get something. And then once we got it, we're home free. So this idea that I think a lot of us come into practice with is we'll have that one moment, all of our past habitual patterns and karmic tendencies will miraculously disappear and then as Steven said, we'll be riding that wave precisely in that precise point for the rest of our lives. No stress, no suffering, no difficulty. Now it's true that the Buddha spoke about the end of suffering, but the end of suffering in some ways is the end of fighting against something. You know, if we have an idea, if I practice and do things right, then everything will be perfect. From the vantage point of Stephen's talk, it's, it's clear there really is no absolute perfection. But yet, but yet we have this desire for it. And out of that desire, we embellish an idea that it's not about always being upright. But as Stephen said, you fall down, you plant your feet, you get back up. And then practice becomes determination. Practice becomes staying with things. So rather we, we move from an ideal of perfection to allowing our practice to give us a grounding from which we can work with what is appearing right.